Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Today we're going to make something very different and I hope that you're going to enjoy it. We're going to make a low carb, no rice risotto. I know there's lots of you viewers out there that enjoy risotto so I thought okay let's do something to see if we can make it low carb. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the the rice or whatever you want to call it in the risotto. Um, so I am using raw sunflower seeds and you can see them there. I picked them up at the bulk barn and what we're going to do is I need two cups and a half of raw sunflower seeds. Okay and then what we're going to do is I've just got a little bit of Himalayan salt. You can use um, sea salt. And I am just going to sprinkle some on. Now we're going to add enough water to cover the um, sunflower seeds. So we're just, there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to set it in the fridge overnight or if you do it early in the morning, you got all day, um, the longer the better because we just want to soften them up and um, that's what we're going to do to start. So here are my raw sunflower seeds that I soaked all night. I, um, a couple hours after I added a little more water because I wanted to make sure that um, it wasn't going to absorb so much that I didn't have enough water in there. So that's what I did. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to strain the water out of it. So I'm just going to take my bowl and I'm going to try and get rid of the water. This looks like risotto. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of this water. And we're going to do it again. I could have a bigger strainer, I guess, and I do have one. But So I'll continue this till I get it all drained. Well, I hope I can juggle both of these at the same time while we're doing our video. But in this frying pan here, I have a tablespoon of butter that I'm going to melt. And I'm adding in a half a cup of, or sorry, a half a medium chopped onion. And my onion, I'll just kind of show you. Because I always find, if you can see it, you can, um, so half of that is what I used, okay? And then, oh, a little bit more in there, I've got five cloves of crushed garlic. And I'm doing these two separate pans because I'm using the onion and garlic in a different spot of our recipe. And the other pan, so I'm going to cook this up. To get them all cooked. I love the smell of onions and garlic together. And now in this other pan I've got 250 sliced mushrooms and two tablespoons of butter. So I'm going to put them in here. Now you get a lot of moisture from your mushrooms. Once I get it going I'm going to put the lid on and just cook these down. So you can see, just by having the lid on, the moisture that you get with these, then the lid helps it also. Now I'm just going to add my favorite spice, herbamere. And if you don't have any herbamere, use salt and pepper to taste. And I'm going to put approximately a teaspoon in of my herbamere. So I'll mix it all in. I love that spice. I should actually be using them 
making money off of them because I advertise their Herbal Mirror so much. Anyway, I'm going to put the lid back on and just let that cook some more. And my onions are almost ready. I don't want them brown. I want them transparent and they're starting to go a little brown so I think I've got them cooked enough. Let's add in a half a cup of dried white wine and we're just going to let them simmer until all the liquid is gone out of them. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. And we're going to work on our sauce. We are going to take a cup of sunflower seeds and we're going to blend it in our ninja. So I'm just going to dump that in here. This contraption is for canning, but boy, does it ever come in handy doing this kind of stuff, because I would have spilt that all over the place, guaranteed. And we're going to add in our onions. Onions and garlic are being added in right now. Okay. I almost forgot something. We need a cup of water. You could use chicken broth if you'd like. It's up to you. We'll put in a cup of water here and we'll get it ready to blend. Just check it and make sure we've got it nice and smooth. Oh, perfect. Awesome. That is perfect. Now, who would have thought of that? It's great. Okay. Now, hopefully, we can get our stuff put together. Well, there's one thing I forgot. I'm good at this sometimes, I'll tell you. A third of a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. Finely shredded. So let's just see if we can just give this a quick blend. My mushrooms are all cooked. And now we're going to add in our sunflower seeds. Now, I went to the um, bulk barn and I bought these sun raw organic sunflower seeds. And I kind of guessed as to how much to put in the bag. And I did have a little more than two and a half cups. So this looks like a lot, but it's still going to work fine. I didn't want to waste it. So we're just putting these in there. Now we're going to add our sauce. Doesn't that look real? Like it looks so good and it's got a great taste. Now you can have the so-called rice, pasta, whatever you want to call it. So see if I can get this all in. Now if you feel it's too thick, which I don't think it is, you can add a little bit of water to it. So I'm just going to see if I can get it all out. Maybe if I change sides here. I hate to waste it. It's nice and thick. Tastes great. There we go, I'll clean it out after. So we just mix it all in and we're going to cook this up oh, about 20 minutes because the seeds are already, they're still 
got a bit of a crunch to them, but they're still, they're soft. They're not the same as just eating plain old um, sunflower seeds because we added the water to it. So I put the lid on for the 20 minutes and I have it on low. Just to let you know, I, I put the lid on just so we had a little extra moisture. But we're all set, we're ready to go. So let's give it a try. So here is my low carb mushroom risotto. It's really good. Like I'm, I'm quite surprised um, how things can turn out with different products and using sunflower seeds. Now, to explain it, I'll just take a bite and I'll try and describe the texture of the sunflowers. They're soft, firm. They're good. Um, they're soft, they're firm. They have like a light crunch with them. Really delicious. Love the flavor. I think you're going to like this one. Now, I calculated it. Six servings. And it's um, eight net carbs. So if you compare that to your normal risotto, I think you might be interested in this one. So it's, it's quite tasty. And then to make the sauce out of the sunflower seeds, that's pretty crazy. Anyway, you gotta give this one a try. So if you go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, you can try this recipe and you can try some of my other ones. You take care and I will see you soon. Bye now.